up everybody it's coach hicks i wanted to make another video to talk about a different style of man-to-man -man coverage that sometimes you'll see often it's one of the easier ones to coach at least it doesn't necessarily require a whole lot of teaching and once your players have it down it actually works out pretty well for the most part you just have to be fully aware of the advantages and disadvantages from a coaching standpoint for this style of coverage and what style of coverage that we're talking about is the off man uh, sometimes it's also called the flat foot read it works great when your defense has a very aggressive blitzing scheme so what this type of coverage allows your defensive back to do is it allows them to play a little further back so they're definitely not going to get beat necessarily uh, off of a press route or something of the sort so they're going to play a little further back and they're going to have their eyes on the quarterback, at least for the most part, to read the quarterback. And then after that, they're going to shift their eyes to their receiver. So let me show you what that looks like. The same rules apply for inside shade and outside shade as well as, as, well as the same disadvantages. So be sure to check out the other video that was made on the differences between an inside shade and an outside shade when you're a defensive back. But let's get into it. So the first thing is I'm going to have my receiver here. Okay. And for the purposes of the example, we're going to be using a cornerback. And so I'm going to have my cornerback with an inside shade, sideline. And so I'm going to line up my cornerback inside shade at about five to seven yards. So let's say I'm going to have him, yeah, five to seven yards. And so what he's going to do is he's going to line up an inside shade. And sometimes some coaches, you might like to have him line up square meaning that he's facing the receiver, so he's squared up to the receiver. Other times, you might want to have him open at a 45-degree angle with his eyes on cue. Um, it really depends on your own personal style. And so for the offline read, what the cornerback's going to do is, or the flat foot, it's called the flat foot because he's not backpedaling. He's not up on his toes. And so what we're going to do is when the ball is snapped, the cornerback is almost going to bounce in place. He's going to look at the quarterback, and he's going to read the quarterback's drop. So if the quarterback has a three-step drop or a one-step drop, that means the ball is coming out quick. It means the ball can't be a very long pattern. It has to be a shorter route. And so when it's a three-step drop, as soon as he sees a three-step drop, then his eyes are going to turn right back to the receiver, locate the receiver, find out what the receiver is trying to do, and then react. The other way that this can be coached is you can teach your cornerback to look at the receiver. So you can teach him to have the flat step read where he's looking at the receiver. He has his eyes on his receiver and he's reading the receiver's hips. So if the receiver's hips start to drop, well, right away you know that, okay, something's coming out. There's a pass. He's breaking very soon and you react to that drop. Now, the advantage of this play, of this kind of positioning is that, well, the cornerback will only start to backpedal and open his hips once the receiver breaks his cushion. Which means, let's say, for example, you have a cushion of three yards. Once the receiver gets within three yards of the cornerback, then the cornerback has no choice but to turn and go or but to backpedal and react. Oftentimes, in this situation, because of the flat foot read, your quarterback, your cornerback will have to turn and go. So you need to be able to, if you're going to use this, this technique, you need to be able to coach your corners to get their hips around and to be able to hit full speed as soon as possible to match the receiver's speed. However... If we're dealing with a short passing situation or you sent a heavy blitz, you sent the house in the kitchen sink, and so you know that the quarterback has no choice but to get the ball out quick, this is a great, great, great technique to use. The reason why is most of the time, especially if you're playing on the inside shade, most of the time in this situation, the hot route, the hot routes are little slants, ins, uh, tiny hitches. This kind of stuff. And so what happens is because your cornerback is standing still at the snap of the ball and he's not moving, he can break directly on those pass plays, break it up, and sometimes that can turn into what we call a pick six, which is an interception gone for a touchdown. And so that is the great advantage of the, the flat foot read and playing off man. However, the disadvantage of this, the disadvantage of this is the quick out routes. Well, when you have a quick out route like that, your cornerback, sometimes he's coached to be three yards inside if we're playing a really aggressive scheme. 
three yards inside, well, if that's a quick out, he's already got three yards to make up and then extra. Depending on the ball placement, sometimes that's a long throw and he can make it up, but that is an advantage to take into account is the, the inside shade in an off-man position with a quick out or a quick outside breaking route. Now, the off-man can also be played from an outside shade, an outside technique, using the same depth. Your cornerback, however, has to have great ball skills and has to have great uh, explosion. He has to have a great burst of speed. The reason why is because in this case, when there's a slant route, well, your cornerback has to be able to recognize that pass extremely fast and be able to make up that distance and that field right there to be able to make that to be able to make that play to break it up. NFL corners can do that. Can Canadian football corners do that? Definitely, but it all comes into the coaching. That's where we come in to be able to teach these kids how to play either shade in off man and come up and make a play. So that is the off man technique with an inside shade with an outside shade. You also have to remember that well the same disadvantages exist on either side. Those disadvantages all depend on your game plan, your scheme, what you're, living, what you're willing to live with, what you're willing to work with, your athletes, and anything else that happens. It's football. You never know. So, I'm Coach Hicks. I hope you liked that video. Let me know what else you want to see. Like, subscribe, and share. Signing out.